everyone and welcome to Variety Varnish. My name is Sheila and today I just wanted to show you some new yellows that have come into my collection and I wanted to play with these ones um, in front of you guys in front of the camera so you guys can see you know the subtle differences and the nuances between all these polishes. Now the uh, motivation really for me is that polished for days um, kind of you know made this on a whim yellow that they are actually re-releasing because this sold out super quickly i mean i had to really pull out my ninja fingers for these guys but these are the two polishes from polished for days um and also wildflower lacquer is going to release 10 only 10 sun chasers on May 30th. I'm not sure as to what the time is, but I'm gonna make sure to put it on the screen or the details down below. I'm gonna have to look that up. But so, you know, if you guys were wondering if you were in the market for any of these yellows, um, especially these two flakies maybe, and you were wondering, you know, what are the differences? Which one is, you know, more suited to me? I figured, you know, I'm just gonna pop this video in here and maybe it'll be helpful for you. And uh, cause you know, I, I have to have all the yellow, so I might as well share all of these with you and show you the differences. And so you can um, make, your decision and you don't have to have all the yellows if you don't want to. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start with these two flaky polishes, flaky yellows right here. This is Polished for Days Dandelion. Very, very pretty uh, flaky polish from Polished for Days. I believe that this formula doesn't have any hollow. It's just a straight up flaky bomb. So this is probably a formula that is reminiscent of Long Live the King, Fireside, Seeing is Believing, and the, their recent uh, peach uh, polish that they had for PPU. Now this is Wildflower Lacquer. This is Sun Chaser. And again, this is a very, very different yellow right here. Sun Chaser was originally released for the Yellow Lovers group on Facebook. And they were kind enough to allow Taylor, the maker of Wildflower, to re-release it. And so I actually got this as the re-release, like this recent re-release. And then now Taylor has an overpour of 10 that she is going to be selling on May 30th at the Wildflower um website along with the launch of her latest collection. So I wanted to show you guys these two first because again, these are coming back. Both of these are coming back. And so if you were in the market for one or both, um, then I can show you it. Now, I just wanted to also let you guys know, Fancy Gloss has a very similar flaky. I believe it's called Limonata or Limoncello. I'm gonna, <laughs> obviously this is like a very very impromptu video, right? So I'm gonna write the um, correct name of that flaky polish down below in the description box or on the screen. I don't have that yet. Do I have plans to purchase it? Yes, but I'm waiting for game over to be restocked and then I'm gonna get all fancy glosses yellows because you know, I gotta have all the yellows. So anyway, I'm gonna swatch this in swatch sticks so you can see and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna swatch Polished for Days' Dandelion right in the middle. And I'm gonna use one of these swatch crowns because I know um, I, I know for a fact that these yellow flaky polishes are not going away anytime soon. They are so popular. I'm sure makers are only gonna make more of them. And so I'm gonna save the rest of the spots for say for example, one for fancy gloss and the others for you know whatever new flaky yellow is coming up. But there you go. So it's a very, almost like neon, very green undertoned yellow. And it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's just so ridiculously beautiful. So I'm gonna put that against my skin tone right there. Just so like you can see, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And that flaky payoff is ridiculous. 
ridiculous. And so that is Polished for Days' Dandelion. So now then I'm gonna uh, swatch Sun Chaser right at the bottom there. And oh my God, Sun Chaser is beautiful. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So as you can see, it's also sort of like a green-based yellow, but this is definitely more of a deeper yellow. The flaky is a little bit more not uniformed, and it's also a little bit um, sparsely distributed across the... Um, nail as you can see polished for days that is just like their standard sort of packed no space for anything else sort of flaky bomb and sun chaser is also sort of like a flaky bomb but it's definitely a little bit more um scattered i should say and also i believe i am seeing some holographic pieces some hollow flakes right in there so it's not just like a very uniform sort of flaky in there now as for the base color this is definitely a little bit more brighter sun chaser has a bit of a mustard undertone um, it still has that green but it definitely looks a little bit more fall appropriate compared to uh, polished for days dandelion and so both are super beautiful Obviously, they both have a uh, space in my collection. I'm gonna see if I can like focus it closer right there. Um, obviously, you know, they belong in my collection, both of them. But if you were someone who only wanted one of these yellows, then I'm hoping that this could help you decide which one to pick. And this is Polished for Days' Dandelion. And this is Wildflower Lacquer's Sun Chaser. Now for the shimmers, I have four to share with you. The very first shimmer that I got was Mango from Ethereal Lacquer. And Mango is very much a mango colored yellow. It's almost that, like, it has a, a little bit of that orange undertone that just makes it so juicy, so wonderful. Um, if mango was a flower, I would say it was a little bit leaning marigold. Now, this is banana. Obviously, this one also just came today. This is from uh, the latest PPU, May PPU, so I haven't swatched this one. But from the swatches that compared mango to banana, banana is definitely more brighter. It's uh, much more of a true yellow, really. Now, this is Polished for Days of Sunflower, and basically it's the shimmer version of that um, dandelion that I showed you. Very green-based, super bright yellow, really well done polish. And then, of course, there is KB Shimmer's Sunkissed, which is oh, another phenomenal polish. It has that sort of pink flip to it which is just absolutely stunning and so we're gonna swatch these uh, four on a swatch crown to see um, you know the nuanced differences of these four and um, I'm gonna be right back so I'm gonna do mango first and I will be swatching it on the second crown right there I'm gonna save the first one for whatever uh, yellow shimmer I get next but that is mango right there. So I'm hoping that my viewfinder will show how, oh my goodness, these formulas. It's just, it's a very juicy looking yellow. But it definitely has that orange undertone because of that shimmer. That sort of like, I don't even know what that is. Is it like an orangey, coppery gold shimmer right there? So that's mango. And so then I'm gonna um, swatch banana next to it to see how they compare. And I'm happy that my crown is actually like more white because then that way they all have like kind of like a uniform base to compare it with. And so as you can see, banana is definitely much yellow, much brighter right there. So as you can see, um, it's missing that depth 
that orange depth to it that uh, mango has so it's very pretty in its own right but it's definitely very yellow and then now I'm gonna actually swatch polished for days next to banana because I think that these two could be the most similar I mean I'm 100% sure I can find 10 million reasons why they're different but you know just just because they're closest to each other All right, so as you can see, Polished for Days is a little bit more green. It's a little bit brighter, almost to an extent of a neon. So it's definitely, oy fey. I mean, can you believe how lucky I am to have all these yellows in my collection? And actually, I am going to swatch KB Shimmer right on top here because I feel like then it would be such a contrast to the cooler yellows. So I'm thinking this would probably be the warmest and has the most evident flip to it, as you can see. So this is definitely the richest among these shimmers. Very pretty. Um, it almost makes it not so yellow with that like pink flip to it very evident and so yeah oh my goodness these are so pretty I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am over all these yellows just so pretty so this is KB Shimmer Sunkissed this is Ethereal's Mango this is Ethereal's Banana, and this is Polished for Days. I believe this is Sunflower, yes. And oh my goodness, shining, shimmering, splendid like the sun. So beautiful. And so yeah, that's that. So that's it, you guys. These are the new yellows that I have kind of accumulated in my collection. Some of them are coming back. Some of them you might probably need to hunt, but I wanted to show you because these are all kind of recent. And so the yellow um, bandwagon is definitely getting full, guys, and I'm so happy about it. Yellow lovers unite. But yeah, so um, I wanted to do a quick recap. So this is now, everything is two coats. So this is Polished for Days' Dandelion, and this is Wildflower Lacquer's Sun Chaser. And so as you can see, I'm gonna try to let it focus. Um, very different base colors. The Wildflower Sun Chaser one has a much more richer, almost like, chartreuse mustard if that's even a color um, and the polished for days one is definitely very bright almost neon very green based yellow um, the formula on this one is very reminiscent of long live the king seeing is believing fireside that kind of just you know, flaky bomb, uniform flakes, very gorgeous. Sun Chaser definitely has a little bit more of irregularly shaped um, flakes. And I think that it also has some micro uh, holographic flakes in there. And so I may be wrong. I mean, I'm just looking at it. I didn't look up the official description, but that is basically the main difference. Um, Polished for Days Dandelion is coming back sometime. I don't have an exact date to that, um, but Sun Chaser is only going to be available for 10 bottles on May 30th. And so those are the two flaky yellows that I have so far. And then as for the shimmers, here are these gorgeous shimmers, you guys. Holy macaroni, I cannot even. These are two coats now. So this is KB Shimmers Sunkissed from their recent, I think it's called Beach Collection, something beach. And then this one is Ethereal Lacquer's Mango. This is Ethereal Lacquer's Banana, which is from the recent PPU. So I'm gonna have to re-swatch this again too if you wanna look at this polish again. Believe me, I don't mind re-swatching it for my PPU video. And this one is Polished for Days Sunflower. I hope I'm getting that right. Yes, it is. So the flaky is the dandelion, sunflower is the shimmer. 
absolutely gorgeous. Very strong green flip to this one, which makes me so happy because yellow and green is just my favorite combo. But the rest of these are just also so beautiful. I'm not even picking a favorites, you guys. You know, yellow nail polishes are all my children, not picking a favorite. But my goodness, I mean, let's just be honest. <laughs> so gorgeous so gorgeous I cannot even but yes yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful you know for future pur purchases and stuff like that and if you like to chat about anything and everything nail polish please consider subscribing to my channel there's that bell button for notifications and comment down below if you have a favorite because you know these are not your children no, I'm joking but comment down below if you have a favorite. I mean, these are just all so pretty to me. I can't pick, so maybe you can pick for me. Um, are you leaning more towards the flakies or the shimmers? I'm just so happy that everybody is making yellows, you guys, and beautiful yellows and beautiful formulas. So I'm so happy about that. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys later. Um, I hope to catch you again in my next video, and I hope everybody is having a great day. Bye.